Hey, what a fantastic treat we've got today. So you're very, very welcome. Really looking forward to be able to share with this to, with you today. I've got a 90 minute ride, 90 minutes of fun. Well, okay, towards the end, maybe not so much fun, but we're gonna do this together. We're gonna get it done. And uh, we're just gonna play along. I'm gonna help you to get to the top. So when you're ready, make sure you've got a towel, make sure you've got some fluids and let's get going. So let's get you nice and settled. Nice and soft on those hands. And let's tell you what we've got ahead today. We're working pretty much the whole of the um, intensity zones, starting at the bottom with your warm up. Then we're going to gently take you on a flat road. I'm going to be doing a virtual ride with you today. I'm going to be showing you some visuals to help you out. And this is a ride that I've used a number of times with clients. And we've had some really fantastic visuals to help us out. And I'm hoping it will help you out to get you to the top. It's based on a virtual ride at Mont Ventoux in Provence. Starting out on the flat road through the lavender fields. It's absolutely beautiful. I've done this right myself, as you'll see right at the end. And we're doing the soul ascent today, which is not the hardest one, but I mean, hey, it's still not, it's still not straightforward, okay? And then we're going to start on the lower slopes, slightly ramping up, taking you up through tempo zone, through aerobic endurance, and then up into lactate threshold. We're going to do some over-unders. And then we're going to break out through the forest to the bleak bit, which is the top of Mont Ventoux. Now, clearly, you'd be having to really go some to get this done in an hour and a half if you were doing it for real. But we're going to get a bunch and have a go at it today. As we start to get to the top, the road's going to kick up. You've got the profile there to show you what's ahead. And you can see it's just getting increasingly harder as we go. As we get towards the top, we're going to be doing some VO2 max work. And then right at the very end, just because you've got a little bit of energy left maybe, we're going to be doing some full on sprint efforts to get you to the top. Don't go off too hard too early. Let the ride come to you. And if you've never done more than an hour on a turbo, welcome. It's fine. So, just into this warm up, not a lot left, but we're going to start pretty gentle. Then we've got a big block of aerobic endurance. Now, to make aerobic endurance efforts can, they have to be longer. The lower you are down the intensity, the longer you have to go to get those physiological benefits. Now we're going to be doing about 28 minutes or so aerobic endurance. Kind of if you're on the road, you want to be doing twice that to be honest. Twice that amount of time. Looking at the intensity here, you've got effort levels. If you know your FTP, you've got the power numbers. Know your max heart rate, you can use those numbers too. And use that graphic at the bottom there to show you where you are along the profile and what's coming up next. Love this ride. I absolutely love this ride. I love this workout. It's just so much fun. And those intervals are pretty structured. We've got all sorts of intervals. We've got some regular intervals, right up, come down. We've got some ramps. And one of my absolute favorites, gonna sneak in a pyramid, which is lots of fun. Mentally quite tough, but I know you've got this, absolutely. what my screen here. How are we doing? So a little ramp here. 
And in fact, I've missed one of those cadence changes. So I'm talking to you again. See, this happens every time, doesn't it? Now we're up in the effort. And these effort levels on this one here, on this block, as you can see from the screen there. So we've got a 30 minute, uh, actually we're doing that? No, we've got a one minute recovery. Then we've got a 30 second little ramp up. And then we've got an effort. And each one of those efforts is going to get longer and longer by 30 seconds. This first one, one minute. Next one's one minute 30 and so on and so forth. And that's going to take us to over 31 minutes done of the entire workout. How are the legs doing? Mine have been a bit lumpy today, if I'm truthful. I'm sure I'm right into it. Mentally all go, you see, my legs aren't, I wanted to play ball very much today. But they'll catch up, right, recovery. Bring it down. Really having to work hard today to keep that heart rate under control now. I've got the only problem of having way too much adrenaline when I'm instructing. So I'm really gonna have to work hard to keep at the same intensity as you. It's gonna get pretty hard towards the end. But I'm gonna give it a go. So enjoy this recovery, another 30 seconds. And then for the first kind of little ramp up, I want you to keep the same level of intensity, but just up the leg speed. So keep the same gear, just up the leg speed a little bit. Just fire them up. Going in about five seconds. Hold the same gear, nice and light. And let's up in a little bit. 30 seconds. So I'm just upping my cadence to 90. Nothing overly stupid. Just getting that little lifting intensity. Another 10 seconds. At that point, we're going to start to slow it down and then load some more gear to give us that extra power. Start to slow. Now start to load the extra gear. One and a half minutes this time. Aerobic endurance all day. You can keep this up all day, folks. We're under no stress here. Legs might still be complaining a little bit as they're not warmed up. Not quite sure what's expected of them. Breathe through. Keeping that heart rate under control. I'm going to be watching my numbers like a hawk today. So on these longer efforts, really got to keep the control. Heart rate's looking good. Happy with that. Quick check in with the body. How's it feeling? Happy? Said, nice and light of those hands, just where you're comfortable. Nice leg speed that you're happy with. We're on a flat road. If you want to be a little bit quicker on the legs, no problem. I'm around about 80 RPM here. Oh, that's pretty comfortable. I don't want to go much more because my heart rate's going to go jumping up. Five more seconds and we're back into that recovery. Minute recovery. Let's just release those shoulders. Oh, how does that feel? Tighten the shoulders, tighten the pecs here. Just let it all release off. Checking those bum bones are supported on that saddle. It's a long ride today, you're gonna to be taking that hit to the soft tissue. Nice big deep breaths. Keeping that control all the way. Who's mildly terrified of the prospect of an hour and a half? It's fine. Trust me, I'm an instructor. <laughs> I still love doing this ride with my clients. Absolutely love it. Right, little lift, keep the same gear. Little lift in leg speed. And pick it up. 
or too much. Just change it up just a little bit. 30 seconds of this. And again, we slow the legs down, load some more gear on. Clearly, once you've done the effort, make sure you release it off for the recovery. And release it off. And load. Two minutes. Still well within the aerobic endurance zone. All good. How are you feeling in the legs? In the quads already? Oh. Maybe try and open from the hip. Bring in these muscles at the back. If you just drive to the knee, just gonna use these muscles at the front. Really wanna be recruiting the powerhouse at the back. And towards the end of the ride, if your legs are really fatigued, that might happen just by default anyway. Leg speed drop just a little bit. Oh, still pretty comfortable. Smile. I've been pretty excited all morning about doing this. I like to record in the afternoon. Just because that's just my preference. When do you work out? When does your body tell you that it's a good time to work out? In the morning? In the afternoon? Later into the evening, maybe. Or maybe you've got no choice. So you just have to fit it in when you can. Hold it in there. 30 seconds to go. I do believe I'm getting warm already. What about you? <laughs> it's going to be one of those rides. Make sure you keep drip feeding these fluids. I'm going to grab some on the next recovery. 10 seconds, ready to drop the gear. And drop it off. Mini recovery. Cheers everybody. I've got two bottles on my bike today. I think it might be one of those kind of efforts, don't you? We've really got all of your bottles lined up on a table. Gels. So we all go in 90 minutes. Kind of effort we can kind of get by. You really are struggling towards the back end. You might want to drop in a product, a gel, or a energy drink. I kind of favour water when I'm working indoors. But if you've got a electrolytes on there, you might be okay. Are you ready for that extra little burst of leg speed? Remember, same gear. Just going to up the tempo just a little bit. There we go. Just going to change my position. Good idea with these long kind of efforts. Just to keep moving around. Now you can obviously stand on any of the efforts. If you're not used to sitting on the saddle for a long period, maybe try doing the first block seated, especially if you're on an indoor bike. Okay, dropping, slow down, load the gear. I'm not changing gear, I've got a smart trainer that's also setting my power. I've got no bail option, unfortunately. I can't just go, on. I'll just sit that one out. No choice. <laughs> How you doing? Checking in there. Look in there, the graphic. See those little efforts getting longer and longer. It's fine. We still, still got plenty of euphoria going. Yes, this is all right. You've probably heard me say before, you smile while well, that pain goes away. Enjoy the scenery. Have a look around you. It's the lavender fields. Taking a big breath. Look up. 
there's the beast <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Actually, it, it doesn't look that bad, to be honest. From the hinterland around Von Tu, you look up and go, oh, this is not too bad. It just goes on and on, mind. On and on and on. It's one of those relentless climbs. You've got to really pace yourself. As with all long efforts, if you've been, if you ride on the road, it's not really, as long as you've done the training, it's not about the legs. That's what will get you to the top, always. What, what mentally are you telling your legs at the minute? It's all right, it's no problem. I haven't lost the plot. I talk to my legs all the time, by the way. All the time. 30 seconds to go. We have got this, always. How's that bike position? Foot nice and neutral at the bottom of the stroke, making sure you're fully extending the leg, get as much power. Keeping those muscles long. That's another one done, folks. Minute recovery. Take a little sip each time. Really should not be struggling, by the way. Not yet. Not for a long time. However, do not think that this is wasted workout. Aerobic endurance your bread and butter riding helps you build that aerobic capacity. It's called aerobic endurance for a reason. You can't buy aerobic endurance, you just gotta do it. Hour after hour after hour. It's the one thing that will get you out of trouble if you're really in trouble, if you've got a good aerobic base. Are you ready? Up, just up in the leg speed, kick some gear. And off we go. Just a little bit, just lift it, just a little bit. I wonder if you're gonna hear my turbo trainer. You can just hear a slightly different noise. As we just stop that intensity. Around about 85 RPM here. All good. Ready to start slowing it down. Now add that gear on. Let's go. So this one, three minutes. Three minutes. Now if you've not got power on your bike and you're just riding on a regular turbo train, how should this feel? I mean, I'm getting a little bit warmer. Still talk very easily. Definitely still aerobic. Heart rate is spot on, no more than 70% of your max heart rate. Really easily breathing, feeling warmer, but I could, I could, I could sing a tune if I had to. Well, I'm not going to because that would be really bad. I'm not, feeling to, I'm not feeling under any stress, other than the stress of instructing. <laughs> Apart from that, physiologically everything feels pretty okay. Shouldn't be feeling any massive amounts of lactate in the legs. A little bit building, tiny bit, but not overly bad. I could pretty much ride at this intensity for many hours if I had to. In fact, I do. <laughs> what am I talking about? I mean, you, you can definitely feel your heart beating, but not so badly that you kind of can't breathe and you're getting warm and you feel like you're doing a workout but it's all very comfortable everything's happy with the world all good How's your leg speed? I'm not going to prescribe a leg speed because you're going to pretty much go with what you're comfortable with. Okay, a minute to go. 
to that recovery. Just check you're not over gripping the handlebars. Grip the handlebars too hard, all that tension travels up into the neck. Keep it all nice and relaxed. Just enjoying that lovely flat road ahead. Road's kind of meandering around the fields. The scenery is amazing. Maybe don't even look up, because that's that's in the future. That's not now. Be in the present. Be in right here. Twenty seconds. Recovery is coming! And drop the gear. Keep slipping. Minute of rest. I think we've only got one more effort to go. I oh, know. Two. See, look, I'm lying again. Oh, no. Oh, what? No, we have. Two more efforts. Two more efforts. Then you're going to be a third of the way done already. Third of the way done. Breaking you in gently. It's all about the long haul today. Stick with it. If, you, if you're falling asleep, thinking, well, this is a bit boring. Trust me. It gets a bit spicy towards the end. Well, very spicy, actually. <sighs> See how you can hold on. Are we ready? Keep the same gear. Little peek of those legs. Peeking up that leg speed. I'm still a bit excited about what's coming, especially the pyramid. Oh, I love pyramids. They're shockingly hard, mentally. Fantastic. Am I selling it to you? <laughs> I feel like I'm not really at all. Oh. And slow. Load. Three and a half minutes. And breathe. How's your temperature? Shouldn't be sweating buckets. I mean, I'm a little bit warm, but I'm not, not gone to that tragic stage yet. Not yet. So next track, or next, next block, still on that flat road, approaching the Forest ahead. Lovely. Are you with me? Of course you are. Take a check back. Have we dropped anybody? Nope, everybody's there. Still smiling. Chat amongst yourselves in the peloton. <laughs> Keeping those spirits up. Chat while you can. It's not really going to be possible towards the end. Where are we at? Uh, just under two more minutes to go. Uh, should we put bets on if I'm going to run out of chat today? Because 90 minutes is. It's quite a long time. I'm definitely going to be able to chat at the end. Yay, they say. She's got to shut up. Uh, towards the end. <laughs> I've still, I still got plenty of energy. Just want to help you up. It's not my workout. I mean, I'm just enjoying bringing this to you. Too much fun. I'm maybe holding back tiny little bit at the end so I can talk but I'm pretty much doing exactly what you're doing love it 
I do believe we've got one minute to go. How quickly has it gone? Has it gone quickly or not? Oh, please don't say it's not going quickly. I'm just trying to look at you. Oh, have you got the throwing stage? Are you throwing things at me already? Another hour, Chris. No way. Yes way. <laughs> Quitting, not an option. No. It's not like I've duped you into 90 minutes. The clue's in the title, right? I'm excited that heart rate's gone up a little bit. Let's get that back down. Just about coming into the recovery. Are you ready to drop that gear? Drop the resistance. And there we go. Just gonna have to wipe my nose. Excuse me a second. Got to be done. There we go. One minute, one minute of rest. Drop that gear off. Heart rate numbers are there for guidance because your heart rate might still go up after the effort. So don't worry too much if you can't get your heart rate back down to that number it says there for the recovery. Don't stress over it. Just work hard to breathe the heart rate down best you can. If you go with the power numbers, they're absolute. They're the numbers you've got to hit. Is everybody, uh, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, up in the leg speed. If anybody uses training peaks or tracks their TSS score, I'll put a little note in the description when I've done this of what my TSS was for this ride. And that's gonna be pretty accurate. Because I'm using a smart trainer, there's no fluctuations. Absolute bang on the power number. And it'll give you a good idea be tracking your TSS, start to slow the legs. What you should be aiming for. Okay, load. Last one, four minutes. It's gonna take you to 31 minutes done. Woohoo! Just say, have a leg settled into that effort. Are oh, they kind of going, yeah, okay. I mean, it should be all right. You should definitely feel pressure through the pedals. I mean, this is not a picnic. I can definitely feel my legs are having to work, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna shift my position a little bit. You choose any position you like on your bike whatever's comfortable for you. Just checking if you are in the drops, if you've got tri bars and you're getting down really, really low, just check you're not compromising your hamstring flexibility. You wanna check that your hips stay rotated back, not starting to tuck under and then your back is going into a hump. So if you see people on a bike and they're doing this, and their toes are pointed because they're really struggling with the flexibility down the back. You want to make sure the back is straight, nice and flat, hips rotated back, foot is flat, ish. You know, so some people just look fantastic on a bike, They've just got an amazing position. Keep driving the legs. Two minutes to go. I think, yep, the maths is good. <laughs> then we're gonna up. Next track, I'm just gonna up that intensity a little bit. Not a lot. The recovery phases today are True recovery, so you're gonna drop right down. 60% FTP. 
you want to drop a little bit lower, go ahead. True recovery. I want you to recover best you can to go on those efforts. How are we doing? Coming up to one minute to go. 30 minutes done, team. Look at that. Result. Good job. Let the fun and games begin. If I'm doing aerobic endurance, as a straight workout, just nothing else. I'll probably do it, well, I'll do at least an hour. If I don't stand it, I'll do an hour and a half on the turbo, but it doesn't happen very often. It's just too grim. On the road, definitely. Indoors, hmm, it's tricky to try and change it up a bit to keep the, in keep the interest going. Nearly there, nearly there. How's your temperature? Has the fan gone up? Windows open. Nearly there, folks. Recovery coming. Short recovery, and I'll tell you what we're doing. And drop that intensity. Drop it down. So now we're going to do one to three ratio. 30 seconds recovery, one and a half minutes of effort. And the intensity level's going up just a little bit. Let's get that heart rate down. Are you ready for the first one? It's just about to drop in. One and a half minutes of effort. Now we're up into tempo zone. Tempo still all day riding pace, but harder. Maybe three hours, maybe. Now as we start to go up with the intensity, that's when the lactate's gonna start to build. Just still be staying easily aerobic here, keeping that heart rate under control. So check, did you put on a little bit more gear? Maybe still in the small ring if you're on a, a regular bike. Pushing it out. Now, if you wanted to here, no, I've also set my smart file. Not very smart, actually. What I should have done was actually keep the intensity down. But you could, on these one and a half minute efforts, use them as speed intervals. 30 seconds recovery at 60% FTP. And then keep that same gear, but increase the leg speed. I've not done that, unfortunately. So I would probably have liked to have up the leg speed here, so flush a bit of the lactate. 30 seconds recovery. Drop it back down. Need to get the heart rate down. Feel like you're losing control. Big deep breaths, close the eyes. Really want to get that down. Ready to load or up the leg speed, your choice, one or the other. Here we go. Really got to keep control of this. Do not want to go too deep too early. And breathe. Ten minutes of effort here. You can see what's coming. To regular aerobic intervals. One to three ratio, one recovery, three efforts. As we start to get into those heavier intensities towards the end, la uh, lactate threshold pretty much one to one effort to recovery. And then when we get to those bigger efforts, VO2 max, 
they switch the other way around. One effort, three recovery. Hold it there. Recovery's coming. Feeding a little bit more pressure through the feet. Make sure we're not stamping. Nice transition of power as we go. Recovery, ready to release. There you go, drop the gear. Just check it out here. Gotta stay with you. There we go. I don't know why closing your eyes works, but it just does. Guaranteed. Ready to load. Put it on. Nice and smooth, doesn't it? Or, as I said, you can keep that same gear, but up the leg speed for a minute and a half. We'll have the same effect. I've got a bucket load of resistance on here. I'm trying to keep the leg speed up just so I'm not grinding. Just keeping hold of it. All good. Getting warmer. Definitely getting warmer. Not, not got to that real trip stage yet. It's coming. <laughs> Lovely. Hold it there, team. 30 seconds to go. Enjoying that effort. Nearly there. Ready to bring that leg speed down or drop the gear. 30 seconds recovery, let's do it right now. So you feel the pressure go out the muscles. Still a little bit there. Gets much harder as we hit those heavier intensities to jump right down, to right up. Yeah, it's gonna play mess with your head. Always, are we ready? Ready to load or pick up the leg speed. Let's go. This is the fourth one. One more to go after this. about to wave goodbye to the flat road so we're heading into the forest starting to ramp up I'm just visualizing it it's a very distinct ride if ever you've done one too it doesn't matter which ascent you do actually it's pretty much the same so it's very pretty then it's forest and as you pop out the forest you go oh and it can get really windy up there. Mate of mine, if he's watching, he knows who he is, has tried to do one two, I think three times, and he's still not made it. Because every time, it's been either, I think he's gonna have a mechanical one, so maybe not. He's gonna put a message in the description, I don't know. And twice, I think he's been stopped by the weather. So windy, he had to hold onto his bike because it's blown out to the side. I lucked out when I did it. <laughs> Much to his disgust, as you can imagine. Where are we going? There we go, recovery. I'm trying to hear little ditties to tell you all the way along. <laughs> 30 seconds. Heart rate down, come on, Chris. Mine's mostly adrenaline. Keeping hold of that adrenaline. I do miss lots of people in front of me though. I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to pretend that 
worse than you. <laughs> you there, there we go. Load it on. Or up the leg speed. Last one. Just imagine all those smiley faces. Oh, not smiling so much. <laughs> Grimacing. Well, actually, mainly smiling. Lots of fun to be had. One minute, team. Let's hold it. And then I'm going to have to turn the page. I might put a couple of visuals up. A couple of little pics to help you out. So you kind of know where you're at. Thirty seconds. In fact, I'm going to turn the page. I'm going to see what's ahead. Ooh. Lovely, lovely. So next section, still stay with tempo. Remember, low intensities. We're going to spend longer there. We've got a minute recovery coming. Drop the gear or drop the leg speed. One minute recovery. How you doing? How's the tension going in those shoulders? Another 10 minute block here. So, When I changed it round to a one-to-one -one ratio, because with the top end of tempo, up in that intensity. So max FTP is 85. Tracking your heart rate, 75% on the effort. First effort's coming in. Are you ready? Five, for three, two, one and lunge. So we're now starting to just climb. Your leg speed might drop just a little bit. How are we doing? Still in control here. Getting you know, just kind of a sneaking on those efforts. So they're not massively dumping into the legs. We're kind of just building into it. And it's getting a little bit harder as we go. Recovery coming in 15 seconds. Drop the gear, recover. Breathe it down. So, if you've done any of the workouts, you'll know when you breathe, just let that diaphragm go, let the abs go. Don't hold the abs in, let them go. Want the diaphragm to come out as far as possible. And keeping the shoulders down, not bringing them up on the in-breath. We want to breathe horizontally. Get as much air into those lungs. So you know my drill. Deep breath in from the nose for four. Hold for one. Exhale for four through the back. Combined with closing your eyes. Are we ready to go? In three seconds, start loading. Let's get it on. One minute. So we've got five of these efforts. This is the second one. Feeling that extra pressure. So we've just popped over the other side. If you know much about intensities, we've just dropped into sweet spot here. Five minutes in sweet spot zone. These efforts, sweet spot 84. 
84% FTP to 97. Have I got the right? Yes, I have. <laughs> to doubt myself. As those gears, as the intensity, as that resistance gets loaded, I've got to really work on that pedaling technique. And recover. Well, that went quick. Did that go quick for you? <laughs> no, he did not. My heart rate, how's your heart rate doing? Hey, are you sticking those top numbers with the heart rate? You know, your heart rate max. Now, towards the end, we'll be doing some max effort, see if you've still got it in the legs. It's a good way to test your, if your max heart rate is set accurately. You don't really do big max efforts very often. Well, you shouldn't do big max efforts very often. Maybe you do. <laughs> now, clearly, this ride, if you stick to the intensities all the way through, and on we go. Load it up. He's going to really take it out of your body. Not to be replicated very often. I would probably not do this ride. Mm. Once every, certainly no more than once every two weeks. I might just sneak it out to three weeks actually. It's gonna really, it's gonna really test the body. Lots of adaptations going on after you're done. If you start to feel really lightheaded towards the end, as I said, make sure you've got something, a gel or something. Gonna, don't leave it too late. If you do ride on the road, you're in the term of bonking and release. You kind of leave it till you're really feeling bad. You kind of left it too late. Once you start to slide, that's when you've got to take action. How are we doing? The difference. Now we're indoors, so hey, you can sit back up on the recovery. Give yourself a little posture break. Or if you're hardcore and you may want to do a long effort and just stay with it, also good. Whatever works for you, whatever works with your training, your setup, what your goals are, go ahead. You can, you can pretty much do this workout. Loads of different times, times, types, different ways. And load. And breathe through it. Looking good out there, team. Liking what I see. Smiley, smiley. Too much fun. Fantastic. Just a shame I can't see how amazing you look. But I'm pretty sure you do. Me not so much. <laughs> you definitely. I'm just here. Just here for the ride. Just here for you. And drop. Okay, it's about to get a little bit cheekier. So as the road starts to just sneak up just a little bit, it's gonna get a little bit trickier as we go. That's what we're trying to replicate. In an hour and a half. It does take quite a lot longer 
I don't know what the quickest time at one two is. Certainly took me a fair bit longer than an hour and a half, I can tell you that for sure. It was relentless. I was not so happy. Got past Chalet Reynard and kind of like, not so much fun anymore. And then you see the top, you go, oh, okay, it's fine. I can do that. Are we ready? Last one here. Ready to load. Get it on. That's another 10 minute block done. Boom! Just like that. As time started to slow. Well, we're over halfway, by the way. Over halfway. Yep. Is that good news? Yeah. It's the fun bit coming up. So if you, if you felt a little bit bored, that's, that's about to change. <laughs> but I mean, I, don't, I've, I mean, I'm working fairly hard already. Cannot deny. If you're sticking to those power numbers. Yeah. 85% of your FTP. It's, it's not really a walk in the park, is it? It's not a picnic. And release. Okay. Take a little glance. We're going up. Now we're tipping into lactate threshold. We've got a ramp here. We've got a minute recovery. 30 seconds of effort at 80%, 30 seconds of effort at 90%. I'm gonna do that twice, two loops. Oh, heart rate. See how I'm chatting, that's the problem. Let's get some fluids on. It's coming down, it's okay. Going in 15 seconds. Now, if you want to go standing on those 30 second cheeky efforts at the end, by all means, you can stand any time, but there's kind of a place. Right, ramp it up a little bit, add some gear. 30 seconds, so warming the legs through to the next effort, and then taking it up a little bit more. Just feeding in the effort as we go. in five seconds so start to load so you're going to drop in to 90 percent still in the sweet spot moving up about halfway through the sweet spot zone 30 seconds here feeding that power so now approaching up towards threshold breathing's going to get a little bit more labored definitely feeling like there's some more effort there, folks, for sure. Three, two, one, and release. That's the heart rate, that's good, that's spot on. How you doing? One minute recovery, drop it right down. Make sure you've got enough gear that you're pushing against so that your legs just aren't kind of flying around. There we go, 20 seconds till we go. How successfully are you getting at bringing the heart rate down? You still should not should have too much drift going on just yet. Might be drifting up a little bit. Going in just less than 10 seconds. So remember we've got a little hoik up. A little bit of gear. 30 seconds, there we go, drop it in. Load it. Feel the extra pressure. Hold it there for 30 seconds. And then you're gonna load a little bit more on top. Just gonna hang out here. Hold it and push. Are you ready? Ready to load. 
on it goes, 30 seconds. Definitely feeling the breathing, feeling that heart rate. Sneaking up on you. Hold it there. The recovery's coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Continuing that recovery, enjoying that scenery. Still sticking with lactate, but now we're pushing it up a little bit higher on the efforts. 95% FTP, 83% of your max heart rate, same ratios. Enjoy that recovery. Going in about 10 seconds. Gonna load that gear on. Seated, if you wanna stand, you can go standing, not all the way, it's up to you actually. Are you ready? Start loading. On it goes. Dumping into those legs. Feel that effort. Still in sweet spot for these efforts. Little chunk in the middle of the ride. Getting that sweet spot timing. Last chance. Hold it there. Twenty seconds. Next section is my favourite. Going to go pyramiding. I'll explain what that is when we get going. Ready to drop the gear in five seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. Now we're into the forest. So if it was windy, oh, you know, on those plains in the fields, we now got a little bit of shelter. Make the most of it, because once we're out the other side, the gloves are off. <laughs> Add a bit of a headwind in. Spice it up a bit. Who out there likes training into a headwind? Fantastic, great way to train. Get yourself into a headwind. Sound fun? Maybe not. Go in. 10 seconds. So you're gonna really start to load that gear and you might want to be thinking about, if you're still in the small ring, dropping it up, load it to the big ring. These are quite significant efforts. Really feeling that through the legs. Now, depending upon whether you're a quad dominant or a glute dominant athlete, you might be feeling these slightly different muscles. If you're driving from the hips, you should really be feeling it in the glutes. If you're really feeling it in the quads, maybe stamping just a little bit too hard on those pedals. Try and smooth it out. Hold it there, come on, we've got this. Ten seconds to go. And then we're going to start our period. And you've got 30 seconds. Our pyramid then. One to one ratio. We start off 30 seconds recovery. 30 seconds effort, 45 seconds e uh, recovery, 45 seconds effort. One minute recovery, one minute effort. You get the general idea. It's probably dropped in already, I'm talking too much. And then we go up to one minute 15 recovery, 
and effort. And then we come back down the other side. Mentally, you think, oh, that's going to be really easy. Should have dropped it. Oh. Mentally, think that's really, really easy. But it's not, of course, because you're not dropping right back down to those shorter intervals. No, no, no. Forty-five seconds recovery. So they get oh, same ratio, but they just get longer. And then mental, it's the mental battle when she gets to the top. And the brain's going, okay, well it's going, should be getting easier now because I'm going down the other side. Kind of doesn't feel like that. I'm going to watch my time. It's here. Going in fifteen seconds. Excuse the slurping team. Five seconds. And we're going over this time. Look at those efforts. So we've been doing under threshold efforts for the last two, to to last two lax hate tracks. Now we're doing over efforts, 105%. Just holding on. To being able to stay aerobic just about only just almost that tipping point where we're creating way too much lactate it's going to start building heart rate's going to start going up start that drift going five seconds still building and drop the gear one minute recovery Bittersweet, more recovery equals more effort. Have you turned your fan up? I might turn mine up actually. <laughs> Let's get into that part. Let's go. Oh, I've got, yeah. Give myself a little bit of leeway. Have you started full on drippy sweat? Oh, lovely. Effort's coming in 15 seconds, folks. Embrace it. Don't fear it. You kind of mentally go, yeah, I see, I, I look forward to those efforts. You just gotta look forward to them. Go only three seconds. Ready to load. One minute. Keep it smooth. I'm going to stare you out. I'm watching you. I'm watching for anybody who's not putting that gear on. Are you cheating out there? Already? Cheating before we've even got to the hard bit. <laughs> I know who you are. And if actually, if you're some of my clients, I definitely know who you know, not really. My clients have always worked hard. Did I scare them maybe a little bit? Oh well. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> 20 seconds, come on, hold it. Ten seconds. Cadence has dropped a little bit, yeah, we're definitely climbing here, folks. Ready for the recovery. Two, one, and drop the gear. One minute fifteen. So this next effort is the longest one. And then we start to come back down. One minute, 45, 45, 30. Back to the bottom. Are you still with me out there? Who's given up? Who's got on out and had a cup of tea and come back? <laughs> Maybe doing it in two sections. Also an option. Make sure you warm up good though. I mean, you could do that, quite frankly. 30 seconds to go. You could always do a warm up and then drop back into the workout and do second half. Why not? You're in charge of the recording where it starts and stops. 
Me, not so much. I've got to do this in one take. Not so much fun. You can stop and start as you like. Ready to load in three seconds. Get ready on those gears. Let's go. One minute, 15. Feeling that effort. Okay, these, these, are, these are big efforts through the legs. If I'm being truthful, I would say this section is the one after it. No, I'd say this section is the hardest physically and mentally because they're quite long efforts that are quite a hard intensity, high intensity. And you kind of get a bit of euphoria going when you've gone a little bit deeper into the workout because you can see the end in sight. Last little bit in the trees here, team. After we're done with this, at the top, push for the summit. 20 seconds. So the efforts get quite a lot shorter and you get more recovery once we're done here. This is hardest, I think. Steal yourself. Get through this. You're good. Recover. One minute. Ah, breathe. How's the heart rate doing? Oh, well, actually, it's not too bad. Can't believe that. I'll take that. Just about. Okay, I really feel my heart beating in my chest now. It's really having to work quite hard. Just, just about hold on to nasal breathing. So clamp your mouth closed and just breathe in that through your nose. Just be able to hold on to that. Brain's telling you to open your mouth to drag in that oxygen. You should just be able to do it. This is the last time you'll be able to do that. As we get into those deeper efforts, it's coming next. You're ready to go in five seconds. One minute effort, load it on. Come on, let's go. Let's just don't fear it, just dive in. Attack it, own it, own that effort, own how you feel. I'm a bit, a bit cool now, I've turned my fan off. You'll probably hear it actually. Just about holding the control. Feeling that lactate growing in the legs. Definitely. 30 seconds to go. And squeeze. Come on, keep the form, keep that pedaling form. Are you still with me? Folks, 10 seconds, come on. Digging deep. Pointy end of the workout. You should be good and warmed up after all those other efforts. 45 seconds recovery. Maybe this is as long as you've done on a turbo session so far. You're winning already. You're winning because this is the longest session you've done. Fair play. I'm planning quite a few of these longer rides, especially if you want to do them over the winter when it's really rubbish outside. Go in five seconds-ish. Load it on. 45 second effort. I might drop in a pure aerobic endurance slash tempo ride. It's not for the faint hearted. Well, it's not, it's not tough physically, it's tough mentally. But I mean, if you are, leave me a, leave me a message in the description. Not description, in the comments. Delirium setting, you see? <laughs> Would you be interested in that? Tempo slash endurance ride to build that aerobic endurance. Longer ride, another 90 minute ride. How does that sound? 
You up for that? Recovery's coming. Drop the gear. 30 seconds. You've got an extended block of recovery coming. Two and a half minutes. After we're done with this one. So I'm up for it if you are. Oh, I, I, do you not like 90 minutes? Is that too long? I don't know. I kind of I like it. Okay, 30 seconds. Last one, team. Last one, get it on. Push through it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Come on, I'll be done before you know. I'm on the third page, look. See all that lovely colour? Oh, yum, yum, yum. Too much fun. Three, two, one. Drop that gear. Two and a half minutes of recovery. I mean, you can see what's ahead, right? Got two blocks. But I mean, you know, we're about a little bit longer maybe, but not a lot. About 10 minutes of effort to go. We're gonna squeeze some really, really big effort in there. But it's 10 minutes and you're done. Done! Then you've got all that lovely cool down to go. So make the most of this recovery. Get ready here, get ready in the legs. What's ahead? We've got a ramp coming. It's gonna be one minute recovery phase. 30 seconds, ramping up a little bit. And then 30 seconds right at the top end of your VO2 max zone. Woohoo! 30 seconds, it's fine. You should, you should easily be able to hold 30 seconds at that level. I mean, it's not gonna be fun, right? But you can do it. Your legs will do it. You just gotta convince your head. We have got this. So if you like the really hard, hurty stuff, those horrible intervals, you're gonna love this. Just, you're gonna love it. Get the fluids on, fans up, windows open, legs switched on, big smiles. Going in just over 30 seconds, folks. So remember, wrap. You know what's coming. There it is. Three, three loops. Now, if you want to stand on those 30 second efforts, a little bit of it, all of it, go ahead. But you are going to have to load on a significant amount of gear, mind. Especially if you're tracking your FTP, because as you stand, your FTP number will drop down. Are we ready? Okay, first load coming. Load it on. 30 second ramp. To kind of squeeze it on through the legs. Easing into that effort before we hit 15 seconds. Are you ready? Okay, this is gonna really hurt. You're gonna have to go big on the gears, folks. Big on the resistance. Two, one. Dig in. Really feeling that. Leg speed, keep it above 60, folks. Don't wanna overstress the knees. Just take it a check here, I'm about 70 RPM. Don't be dropping much below 65, really. How does that feel? Two, one, done, recovery. <laughs> oh, what fun we had. You got a minute. Maybe your legs feel like lead at this point. If you've dropped significant gear, I haven't dropped it enough actually. If you drop significant gear, 
Don't forget the legs moving a bit quicker. I've got too much power on to really spin that up. My heart rate's gonna go out of control. Yep, I might try a little bit. Going in 15 seconds. Remember, first load. Now, if you can sustain this next section of the, the next minute, ready to load. On you go. If you could sustain 90 RPM for the next minute, I would suggest you haven't got enough gear on. These are, it's more about strength. Really, really more about the strength. Up to 80 RPM, kind of okay, so climbing. Much beyond that, not enough gear. You're gonna be burning too much oxygen. Are you ready to drop it? Two. One, whoop, oh, there we go, oh, how much fun. Yeah, that hurts. Squeeze it. Keeping that form. It's my leg speed. Oh, you're happy with that. That's good. Three, two, one, recover. Breathe it down. Don't be tempted to grab for the water straight away. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. I've not got much left in here. How you doing? Oh, spit, spit that everyone. How are you doing with your fluids? If you've still got three quarters of a bottle, yeah. you need to get on top of the fluids. You might not think you're sweating, even if you're not dripping, you're still sweating. Over an hour and a half, it's gonna catch up with you. And I'm not suggesting you down three bottles, but at least one, for sure. Going in, three. Two, one, first round, load it on. Are oh, your legs starting to really complain? Are they not wanting to play ball anymore? 15 seconds, come on, we've got this. How many have we done? I lost count. Well, you can see, I can't see the graphic clearly. You can. There might be another one to go. I think there is another one to go. Load it up. Oh, oh, that's quite fun, isn't it? Have we got another one to go? Who knows? It's not going to change it, is it? Mountain's not going to go away. Can you see the top yet? Yep. How you enjoy that side wind, the cross wind? Or a headwind. And release. I'm barely talking. Recover. Give me a sec. Oh. I feel that heart bang. Definitely banging hot in chest. Going in 30 seconds. Last one done of this block. And I think we've got five minutes to the top. Woohoo! Can you see what's coming? Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, your legs started crying. <laughs> you started crying. Please don't, it's fine. Oh, we've dropped it. 10 seconds, oh, see, I caught me out. 10 seconds sprinting. And recover. I don't know where that went. What happened to my timings there? Oh, maybe I've got that wrong. You've got a minute recovery. So I was gonna tell you what was ahead. But that kind of snuck up 
we've got four, 10 seconds. We've got that really, really drops and swelling. Max effort sprints. And they come thick and fast. You've got a minute in between. You can do those standing, but you really have to load the gear on, ready in anticipation. Going in 20 seconds. I'm really sorry about that. That really caught me by surprise. I thought we had an extra minute in between, but clearly not. Going in, you want to start to really load the gear up. And we're going full on max effort. When I say max effort, max, max effort. As hard as you can go. Two, one, and you've got to power through it. Don't grind the gears if your legs have come to a halt. Next time round, drop a bit of gear. One minute recovery. You've got to dump on your highest gear, but get a bit of leg speed going before it drops. Heart rate, oh, just don't even look. Big power numbers, by the way. You should be hitting the max power at about seven seconds in, then it might drop off a little bit. So you want to really start loading the gears up before. So we're going to 20 seconds, about 10 seconds to go, which is now might want to start loading the gears. I don't need to, because mine just drops straight in. But start loading those gears on, getting that leg speed going. I'm building and dropping it. Push. Keep going, drive it really hard. And we go. Oh. Let my legs catch up on the server. Are you dying? Four. Oh. Brutal. I've got a little cheeky surprise. Those of you who used to come to my classes to love my little cheeky surprises. Right at the end. Going in 25 seconds. Oh. Come on, you've got this. Going in 10 seconds, start to load the gear. Load it up, start to get the leg speed going. Three, two, one, everything in, everything. Big, big effort, everything you've got. Pile it on, push, 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 push. Keep going, 15 seconds. Now the cheeky surprise is we're not going to drop into full recovery. You're just going to drop a few gears. When you're done here, and bring it back to your FTP. Drop a little bit and push for the next 20 seconds. Keep going. Push, push, keep going, keep going, keep going. And release. You made it. Oh man. Fantastic effort. Did you make it to the end? Yes! Nice one. Respect. Respect. Give me a second. Are oh, you dying? Let that, let that recovery come. Let it come back to the legs. Tracking your heart rate. Just big deep breaths. Big deep breaths. Let the recovery come. That 
für die Schaffner Bachfach. Heart rate's coming down. A little bit of control coming back. I've got my glasses on. That's, that's way too small to see. Luckily, the numbers I need to see are quite big. Others, not so big. <laughs> Respect, folks. Oh, I'm going to do seven minutes of cool down here. I'm going to up my leg speed a little bit. Seven minutes of cool down to bring you up to 90 minutes. If you want to do longer, you feel like you need a longer cool down, just keep pedaling, yeah? Just keep pedaling there. That was a long session you've been in. If you've stayed seated the entire time, you might, just be careful as you get off your bike. <laughs> Everything might have seized up just a little bit. When you're done, make sure you do your favorite stretches maybe. I will be doing my biomechanics releases. If you want to know a little bit more about those, and they really work, I promise you. They've really helped me out at some sticky places where I've just really been in dire problems. Seized up, sore everywhere. Doing a really long event over a week kept my body moving the best it can check out the biomechanics playlist and I'll just give you a couple of my little top tips top secrets on what will really help you I promise they work it's not it's not it's not a, a gimmick lots and lots of scientific research very effective biomechanics release I've got no vested interest in sharing that with you. I don't make anything out of it. It's just my advice and it's, it's good. Two and a half minutes left. How's that recovery coming back? Heart rate, oh, looks your heart rate's come right down. Even with me talking here, oh, everything's good with the world. Did you enjoy that? Give us a thumbs up if you liked, if you like that workout, if you like that video, please give us a thumbs up. If you've subscribed to the channel, thanks very much. If you haven't, please do subscribe. It's great. If you liked it, give me some comments. If you, if you know, just give me any comments, what you like. Don't say I didn't like it because it was, it was long and horrible and hard. I mean, kind of, what can I say? That's what you signed up for, 90 minute ride. And as I said, if you like the idea of doing an endurance and tempo, long endurance tempo ride, which will give you all the benefits of working at that intensity for longer, let me know. I'm happy to put something together. I've, well, I've, I've got stuff already that I do myself, but I'm happy to share it with you. Put it, put it together into a program, into a workout. If you want to give it a go, let me know. I'm a poet. <laughs> Just over a minute left. How's your bum doing? Out of that hour and a half. Oh, feeling it. Minutes ago. Breathing it through. Checking the heart rate. Oh, look, it's all good. So I mentioned before, when I'm doing a workout on the bike, on the road or a turbo, it doesn't matter, I'm not allowed off the bike until I've cooled down sufficiently to get my heart rate back down to 58% of my max heart rate. At that point, I know I've got pretty much good recovery. <sighs> Nearly there, folks. 30 seconds. Thanks for watching today. I had an absolute ball sharing that with you. 
Just wish I'd been in the same room as you all. It would have been amazing. 15 seconds. As I said, keep going if you need to. Nearly done. There we go. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Till next time.